What happens so often is we tend to dishonor those closest to us that mean the most because we feel either we either we feel that 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 that, that their their care for us, their love for us can prevail over that dishonor, but over time it will begin to wear thin. Or the other, the, other, the other truth is, is oftentimes in the, in the, when we find ourselves around the people that we love the most, that we want to be loved the most, out of an internal seed of a fear of rejection, we do things that push them away unbeknownst to us. How many of you have ever treated someone you love so much that you desperately desire them to love you poorly? Anybody? It's Sunday morning. I know everybody yelled at somebody. Amen. Thank you for being honest in the back. Hallelujah. For some people that have a fear of being rejected, when they find themselves in the presence of those they love the most, they act the worst. Because in that moment, they're subconsciously saying, if anybody's going to ruin this relationship, it's going to be me because I can't be rejected again. And so I'd rather it be me taking my love back than you taking your love away. Does this make sense? And I feel that that is actually something, I, I don't feel, I know that is a hand that has been dealt to many people in the church, that when we talk about words like community, we talk about love, we talk about family, we see it through the filter of our own experiences and we need a new filter. Yes. Amen? That's why I wanna to talk to you about family culture. Culture is the result of a shared, shared, shared agreed, uh, excuse me, culture is the result of a shared agreement based upon values, beliefs, and behaviors. So culture is not just a setting, it's an agreement, culture's covenant. Real culture is the fruit of covenant to where people get together and say, okay, these are the things that are important to us. These are what we value based on what we believe and based on the beliefs and the values we have, this is how we're gonna act. Family is a core group of people dedicated to a common culture for an uncommon purpose. The life we live and the decisions we make are motivated by the culture that we have collectively agreed to live by. In other words, if people feel called to be part of the family of Kingsway, you then become a part of the culture of Kingsway. And based on our shared values, our shared beliefs, it creates an understood expectation of shared behavior. Amen? Because otherwise what happens is, is people can come in and not know that it's not okay to take a purse when someone leaves it on the seat when they go up to the altar for prayer. A cultural value is don't steal. In fact, the, value, the opposite of that is our value, which is generosity. That when people come, they don't look to take, they look to give. If, if, if you don't understand culture in a kingdom sense, you, you, you'll come wanting to, to plead with God to deliver you from this earth instead of petitioning heaven to be released through your life. It's culture. And honestly, culture oftentimes is worked out on paper, but it's lived out through people. And oftentimes we can put together a vision statement or a mission statement when it comes to culture, but really culture should be seen through who we are. If someone wants to know, you know, hey, well, what's, what's y'all's worship culture? It shouldn't say, hey, look, we've got four points on the website. Even if, it have, even if it has great alliteration, amen? It's good to have those things. I know people who, don't, who, who are wanting to come to the church, they're gonna go to the website first, they're gonna look, they're trying to find out more information. But honestly, say, well, if you wanna know our worship culture, look at Pastor Jeff. And not just on stage, but look at who he is and the man of God he is and look at how he lives his life day to day. Because honestly, if that's the culture, he's the, he's the, he's the evidence. Amen. Are you with me? That's an example. If someone says, well, what's, what is the culture of King's Kids? Well, look at Pastor Jody. Look at our King's Kids teachers. And honestly, what happens is we're called to reproduce culture because that's what happens when you reproduce sons and daughters. Because what we're doing is we're actually multiplying carriers of kingdom understanding that have all come, come together around common value and purpose. Amen? Thank you so much for taking your time to join with us for one of our most recent services here at Kingsway Church. Again, we pray that you enjoyed your time viewing this video, and we invite you, if you're watching this on YouTube, click the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on newly uploaded content. If you're watching this on one of our social media platforms, we encourage you to like and share this video with your friends. And if you're watching on our website, kingswayal.com, we ask that you send us an email at info at kingswayal.com. Let us know where you're watching from and how this service impacted you. We bless you.